Where the hell are we now? We're even deeper underground. Vladdy, where should we go? Let's go here first, I guess. This is... Where does this go? Back up into the facility? Do I really wanna? This goes way up, dude. Sub-01. What the heck? I can be placed here. Oh, we got a, we got ourselves a small key. It's a shame you don't have small hands, as handling this key would be much easier. It looks like a key for a toolbox lock, which could be useful if you can manage to find the fine motor skills needed to operate such a small instrument. Okay, we get it small. Hi, Ted. Just FYI, I brought the acetylene gas tank up to the farm for the animal staff barbecue. Annual staff, not animal staff. Fuck. Completely corn free, of course. Haha, <laughs> Bob. Bob, how many times have I told you? We can't have barbecues on the farm. Put it back, we're days behind schedule. And stop joyriding with the tractor, dummy. I like Ted, he's funny. I want him to stay away from me though. This magic water pipe grants you the power to transport water from one end of it to the other. There will be no reason for you to do this at any point in this adventure, but you'll continue to carry it anyway, just in case. What? Well yeah, it's in my folio, it's not in my inventory. What was that? Created by Pete's Games and Carnival, the design of the loading crane appears to be based off of a simple claw game, a fact which excited Ted, uh, Bob to no end. Ted, conversely, wasn't too thrilled about it, but was stuck with it anyway after Bob forged his signature on the approval form. Why? Yeah, that's a, that's an awful loading crane design. Hey, Vladdy, you don't need- Butter, Vladdy's favorite. You don't need to literally follow me around everywhere. Hey Ted, I upgraded the lifting system so two people could use it at once. Our efficiency will nearly double. Bob, I know that I do not say this lightly, but this may well be the absolute worst idea you've ever had. Idiot. A locked cello case. The small key doesn't go to this? Bob, for the last time, stop leaving your junk here. Everywhere. I don't know why you even have a cello case. You don't even own a cello, dummy. What's this? Strange sealed box. Also is not opened by the key. Hey, Ted. Need this box of knickknacks loaded. Be a pal and move it for me, would you? Do they have any employees? Bob, you sloth. I'm not your errand boy. Load it yourself. So nothing gets done, because neither of them will do it. I, I, that's kind of funny. All right, so I gotta have two ways to, uh, to open it up. Can I go into the water? Nah. Interesting, okay, so. Let's see, so there's something I can, I can put here, like a little egg. Can't put the English muffin there. What we got here? We got two more notes. Hi, Ted, since this is a highly sensitive area, I added a new security door. No need to thank me. Can't be too careful. Bob, you do realize that your new security door closes for no reason and locks people inside this very secure area. Stop being a, stop being cheap and get a door that works, moron. He's too busy buying cheeseburgers, man. What's this? A loading skid. What? You decided to pick this up because you like the direction of the grain in the wood and that it gives you splinters while holding it from every conceivable angle. Ooh, this opens the toolbox. Okay. Stupid American garbage. What? The tools? We got a box cutter, the cheapest box cutter commercially available. Know where this goes. This brand holds the distinction of being the only one that is rendered completely useless after one swipe. We got a hammer. For some reason, you feel the urge to break something beautiful with this instead of doing the standard task of hammering a nail. You don't know why you think of these things. And then we got a submarine assembly manual. What? An instruction manual for building your very own two-man submarine. Since Bob and Ted opted for the budget model, the manual is 800 pages long and mapped out in a fashion that is similar to a choose-your-own-adventure novel. Okay. The door's locked! 
It locked for no reason, just like he said in the note. Okay. Okay, okay, hang on. Box cutter. Filled with Faberge eggs. Why I you pick up so much garbage, idiot? Vladi does not understand. I, I, because it's an adventure game, okay? I don't know how to pronounce this, I'll just go ahead and say that. So if you do, great for you. Bob got his hands on these extravagant artifacts because he knew a guy, and bought them in bulk so he could get a slight discount. He kept them even after he learned that they didn't contain any chocolate. We're gonna break these open with a hammer. Come on, come on, Vladdy, let's do this. Okay. And... Bah! Smashed priceless Faberge egg with hammer for some reason. Will we get a priceless lockpick? Easily the most expensive lockpick in the world. But you don't really care because you have no idea how modern economics work. Okay, so we got priceless lockpick. Does it... Does it open this? Where do we... Oh, oh, this opens the cello case. Okay. Uh ha! Use most expensive lockpick in history to unlock cello case. Vladdy won't say this, but he probably could crawl through that vent and unlock the door. Nuclear fuel rod? For reasons known only to you, you are holding a very radioactive fuel rod in your hands, ignoring every known safety procedure for proper containment and storage imaginable. So wait, so what vent? What vent could he crawl through? Yeah, I'm gonna need him to do that, so... Did you see there was a vent? Like... But where? Hey Vladdy, do you see a vent somewhere? What is this? Is like the engine for the freaking submarine? Oh, this vent. In there? Oh, butzo boy. Stupid idiot, making Vladdy crawl through dumb thing. What is Vladdy supposed to do in here? Stupid! <laughs> oh no! Stupid wires everywhere! He got shocked. Why is this stupid? Oh! Ah! Ah! Why is this stupid thing upside down? Makes no sense! How stupid are these idiots? Maybe if Vladdy gets... Ah! Ah! Vladdy has to... Oh! Ah! Can't do this dumb... Ah! Ah! Boy, I so many... Thank you, Vladdy. Hey, idiot! Did that work? Stop being stupid and say something. Fine. Vladdy done anyway. Two more Lushy drugs. Stupid idiot. Could get nowhere without Vladdy. Vladdy has to do everything. So, now what? Makes sense that Ted programmed this AI. Vladdy did not like any part of that experience. Also, a new path is open to you. Probably some more radioactive. Yes, probably. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so that was fun. Fun little side path. This game reminds me of like Portal and a Stanley Parable and also like old point and click adventures all, all at once. I mean, I'm really enjoying it, to be honest. Can we go up here? I'm gonna, I think I know where what, what new path it's talking about, but I realize that I haven't gone up here yet, so might as well check it out. Oh, we need, okay, we need a wheel for that. Flatty, you kind of scared me a little bit. It, it's kind of intimidating how you're constantly walking towards me. I think you're trying to kill me. <laughs> okay, so not here. There's a, there's a rock slide there. Yeah, this was definitely a very well-polished, well-made game. It's very refreshing. Oh, we're blocked from going back. Who put the, who is putting the orange boxes around, huh? What are you thinking? No, 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 this is where we came from. I think. Hmm, we'll, we'll get to it eventually. No rush. It's so dark in here, I can't see a thing. Perhaps if we turned around. Oh, don't be ridiculous. This is a perfectly nice place to stand. Well, I can't argue with that logic. Neither can I. Uh, idiots. Door to hook room four. What, I can't open it? Okay, well, there's a switch. 
Why can't I turn it? I turned the last one. Am I going crazy? I turned the last one. Why can't I turn that one? Okay, well... This isn't the way we came. This is... What? Bobby Buffoon, why is there a lobby here? And what happened to the decontamination room? Hiya, Ted. Pretty sure I told you. Did a little rework here. Think this will be a real high traffic spot for the tour. Gonna be a real money maker. Words fail me, idiot. And stop it with the statues. He's got, he's got two of them right here. Flyer for a local pool company. The flyer for Paul's Pools and Pest Removal advertises big savings for orders within a 20 mile radius of the shop, along with a free extermination of one pest. The cheapest pool in the flyer has been circled several times in red pen. Bob, I noticed this flyer and assumed this was your work, so I will remind you, pools are not safe to hold chemical waste. Why did you order one? Stupid! Okay, let's, uh... What's this? A coffee maker? You took this not because you wanted to make coffee, but you heard that coffee machines grant you one wish. After much thought, you wished for coffee. It didn't come true. That is... That is excessively stupid. Am I Bob? <laughs> uh, no, but then why would the Ted Corn say that I had a brain? Pretty sure that's who he is anyway. Maybe not. A brochure for a company whose main goal is to fulfill all of your low to mid-level lobby needs. Lobbies, lobbies, lobbies. On the back, one design in particular is circled a red pen, the cheapest one. The company tagline reads, Waiting never felt so good. Wow. So we get it, Bob's a cheapskate, but somehow they built this entire freaking facility. Bob, I have made this map so our staff can restart the bargain basement. The bargain basement reactor you ordered without blowing us all to kingdom come. Do me a favor and don't come anywhere near it, moron. Ted, Ted, I solved your maze. Took me a little while, but I got it in the end. Oh my god. Bob, how are you this stupid? Did you get your doctorate out of a cereal box? Are we gonna restart it? Book of Nuclear Reactor Maintenance Guidelines. This is quite possibly the worst written book of guidelines in the history of time. None of the guidelines made sense, and the instructional drawings all consist of a stick person running away from a large fire. Wow. Let's, let's flip it. I can't do it. Do I have to give the nuclear fuel rod? Yeah, I probably do. Yeah, I probably gotta go down in there and do it, don't I? Oh shit, I definitely do. All right. Now here goes. To be an idiot in there, it would be very bad. Let me stay here, in case you do something stupid. Okay. Well, too late for that. Already doing something dumb. I like that most of the stuff that you can get is like, it's like out in the open, you know? There's not a lot of hidden stuff. Initiate installation procedure and start to count down a nuclear explosion. Move quickly. What? What am I doing? I don't even know where I'm going or what I'm doing. Uh, place fuel rod in containment canister. Now run back and hit that button again before you blow up! Shit! Okay, I think I can remember where to go. I like this groovin' Stranger Things style music. No! That's the dead end! Okay. <laughs> Okay. Shoot. Ah! Completed horribly unsafe fuel rod installation procedure. Oh, I still had 49 seconds. Phew! What? Where's it going? What? 
It just went in there. All right, let's uh, restart the nuclear reactor. Hi, Vladdy. I'm safe. Don't worry about me. Restarted the worst nuclear reactor in the world. Okay. Okay, so now what? <laughs> what happens now? Okay, facility power status. Okay, so we got we got the power back. That's good. I wonder if that um, room with the TVs is working now. I wonder if that place is up. It didn't say that a new path had opened to me. Which I found annoying. Please don't be blocked by orange boxes. It's still blocked by orange boxes. Okay. I gotta get a, a, a like a valve handle for that. Am I done in there? Like all I had to do was restart it, right? I wonder if, cause I, maybe this one, this door up here will open now. Corn's gone. Oh yes! Don't know why it, it works. I guess this light was red earlier and now it's green. What is this stupid thing? I don't know. Everything's stupid, isn't it? Another loose grate. Okay, we'll check that in a sec. I'll remember that that's there. I won't forget. A control console slot. Okay, so I have nothing. An existentially unstable rock. This rock has no idea whether it is a rock, a facsimile of a rock, an amalgamation of many rocks, or a non-rock. By picking it up, you have undone all of its conclusions about the world up until this point. You have named it Wallace. Well, Wallace, come with me. Okay, Vladdy, I'm gonna need you to go through here, I guess. Again with the crawling? Stanya I don't I don't know, dude. Uh, I... What is Vladdy doing here? Is this Vladdy's purpose? Crawling <clears throat> and climbing through stupid I think junk so. To get uh, more stupid junk? Yep. You gotta get me stuff. And for what? This stupid garbage? This is useless. No use. No purpose. Just more garbage. Garbage for idiots. Always. <laughs> Garbage. Hope this garbage worth bloody suffering, but I already know the answer. No, because it's garbage. <sighs> what stupid thing is next? Uh, I don't know, man. Vladdy is really starting to hate vents. I'm gonna take this now, Vladdy, so. Due to a communication error, this particular control console was designed to be removable from its base. It was lost approximately 60 times during the facility's existence. Well, who the hell put it up the vent? Uh, initiate hook. Oh, we saw these from the farmhouse. We saw these out in the... So, this is what stupid thing does? Vladdy still think it garbage. That thing you did was important, probably. But what? But was it? But 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 but. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. I also don't. Oh, let me let me take this. I think you may have problem, idiot. You take too much garbage. I do, but I need it. Broke off its door thanks to a shoddy soldering job done immediately after the facility Christmas party. You can probably find another door to fit it onto, just not this one. Well, yeah, I know exactly where to take this. Actually, is there anything over here? The corn was standing here, so maybe. No? They were just standing there? Okay. I thought maybe they were blocking off like an object or a note or something that I could get. Now that they're gone. But it gets nut. Okay, I'm gonna place this somewhere. But where? On the other side. On that door! Aha! You guys remember. I don't need to remind you. Here we go. Boop. So this is West Hook 2. Okay, so I gotta get that hook up again. 
There's need to initiate hook activation. That's it. Now this one's a little different. Looks like. Oh, this is blocked off, isn't it? Okay. Before we initiate the hook, ah, let's initiate it. I was gonna say let's go back behind it and see what's up. Why, why are we doing this? What is it? That does not sound good. Yeah, it's broken. Okay, we're gonna have to repair something. Chitanya Vesilo. Why is this place so stupid? Nothing works. Idiot American machines. Well done, idiot. Breaking it will help. Stupid. Sorry. So take that dumb piece. See if you can fix it. Breaking everything won't help you progress, in case that wasn't clear. Uh, okay, so I got a broken gear half. A new path is open to you. Head back to the communal grotto and down to level two. And I'm going to be placed here. You need to figure out a way to repair this broken gear if you want to raise that giant hook to the sky. The fact that you know nothing about engineering, mechanical repairs, or finding things means that this will probably go very smoothly. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, so there's a stepladder. Oh, sheesh. Okay, so we gotta come back here with a stepladder. Oh, man, okay. Um, so I can finally leave now, which is great. Been wanting to leave this underground part for a while. The communal grotto. Now I know what it's called. You're blocking off the rest of the place to me. Man, it's annoying. Okay. I mean, I, I kind of appreciate it just because it helps keep me on track for this, you know, linear type of game. Make sure I don't waste time. Basically, they're just trying to save me time, which I appreciate. Um, I mean, the power should be on. Let's see what they were looking at. No, there's no... No power button or anything. See, it said like reserve power up here earlier, which is why I thought maybe I should, maybe I had to come back. Ba bam! Down to level two. Look at this. This looks really nice. And somebody installed each of these individual lights. <laughs> Vending machines. Tin company. Okay. It's time Vladdy told you where he is from. Vladdy is from small box. Very dark. That stupid idiot brought him out the box. And it was sad. Now, we are here. Okay. That, thank you for the history lesson. Bobby, stupid dummy. Why you commissioned that artist to make these maps is beyond me. They are unreadable. Everyone's getting lost down here. Oh good. You are here. Uh, honorary lobby. Another lobby. A completely lazy mystery novel. Night Danger 2. Danger. After an unexpected hit, the maligned author was forced to write a sequel. This time, he saved everyone the trouble of reading the book altogether and revealed the killer on the back flap. The novel actually chronicles the detective's struggle to return a pair of defective pants. That sounds awful. Okay. Bob, I don't care how good a deal you got. No more lobbies, idiot. Yeah, there are a lot of... Oh. This is where we were earlier in the vents. I, I took a water cooler. You were mistakenly trying to pick up something else, but now you are in possession of an entire water cooler. You are too stubborn to put it down, so you're going to have to find a use for it, carrying it everywhere you go. You didn't even empty out the water. It's very heavy. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's look around, shall we? So... Is there anything else here? Okay, yeah, there is. My god, Bob, what is this? There's no way in any conceivable universe that we can turn this facility into a resort. Stop it, you dummy. So what is this? A very slick looking proposal to rework the facility into a high-end theme park. A casino resort has lots of pleasing looking crafts pointing upwards, so you know for sure that's a good idea. Some notable attractions include that land, genetics kingdom, and kitchen. 
Wow, okay. And there's a marker, a red marker. Good thing I saw that, I almost didn't see it. You mistakenly thought this was a blue marker, but you didn't want to put it back down, lest you hurt its feelings. Instead, you will draw a face on something with it, because you know it likes to do that. Ah. Nice, I got a red marker I can, you know, claim that I don't like things and write stuff. Facial recognition security checkpoint. I gotta build a new one. Okay, so we got water cooler. What is... Oh, I was hoping the English muffin could be there. Um, hiya, Ted. Since you're so worried about security, I did you a favor and beefed up the doors to your room. You're absolutely welcome. Bobby jerk, I can't even get into my room because of these stupid discount security measures. Fix it. I'm sick of sleeping in the grotto. Wow. Workplace readiness report. Giving up on the corn's ability to be weaponized on any level, the scientists attempted to see if they could be of any use in the general workplace. They weren't, opting to take naps instead. However, the corn did display a fondness for stacking orange boxes, which they did so every chance they could, the goal of which seemed to be directing the researchers to do what they wanted. Hmm. So that explains the, the orange boxes, actually. Another rock, really? Hey, I want to go down there. Now this is a rock that knows its place in the world. Unquestioning, unwavering, happy, and basking in its complete and utter rockiness. You have named it Shelby. Oh. Hi, I didn't even see the corn here. They're just hanging out. This is, is this a statue of Ted? So Bob, what do you think of this? See what you have driven me to, jerk? Hiya, Ted. This is great. Really excited to see you get into the spirit of things. Added one of mine so we can be side by side. Really think it balances the space well. Oh my god! Uh, sturdy box. Okay. Uh, this is absolutely, positively the sturdiest box you will ever find. Except for the one you see immediately after you pick up this one. You now have what is known as boxer's remorse. Well, we know where this goes. So just gotta get two more items. Well, okay, we can't go this way. Living quarters. Okay, I need to find stuff. What's this green gas that's everywhere, dude? Pruning shears. Bob bought these to help maintain the large number of plants that decorate the facility. The small fact that they were all plastic and didn't need any maintenance didn't deter him in the least. <sighs> Bob likes buying unnecessary shit. Bob's journal, written entirely in red pen, isn't so much a journal as it is a mindscape with occasional pictures. Massive, ambitious plans are written down and abandoned midway through inception, and sometimes mid-sentence. Uh, capuchin treats. Does he have a capuchin monkey? Oh no, looks like he does. There's no way that thing's still alive. Box of monkey treats. Bob mistakenly thought that capuchin was another word for delicacy and ordered thousands of boxes to snack on. When he was told that the snacks were in fact for monkeys, he ate them anyway. Hi. Vladdy, kind of working on stuff right now, so you know. Oh, he's got a, he's got an Atari, or should I say a Batari? A navigational chart. It's a small navigational chart of the Pacific Ocean, with a very peculiar course plotted from the United States to an island in the middle of the ocean. The course has more in common with the movement of a small fly than any nautical vessel. It's apparently part of Operation Sub Aquanium Avardere. But owing to your poor understanding of all languages, you mistakenly think it's a chain restaurant specializing in Italian cuisine. So, Ted wrote fine. Operation. <laughs> ah, what the hell is going on there? Oh, this does not surprise me at all. Wow. He put it on top of cardboard boxes. Has a fondness for wine. 
Another gold seated toilet. Why? There's two! He would never need two toilets. Ever. That's the joke, though. Okay, the, none of these, no, there's nothing to do in here. None of these open. Oh, there are stairs that go down here. Yes! Good, this is the desk that I was looking at up there. Let's go ahead and read all these sticky notes. The final page consists of six appointments. 9 a.m., do nothing. 11 a.m., pick up new fedora and glove. Noon, torture stupid corn for amusement. 3 p.m., hide to avoid work. 5.45, torture corn. 6 p.m., initiate master plan. Okay, the fedora and the gloves. So this is Fernando's diary or daily planner, whatever. It says 1988 on it, that's interesting. Hiya, Fernando. Oh, it's confirmed. Could you be a pal and place the tour brochures across the facility? There's only a few hundred, so you'll be able to do that in no time flat. Fernando, you cretin. Ignore that idiot Bob's request. What you really need to do is sort the samples in the genetics lab from least reactive to most, so go do it. Hey, Fernando. Got a more important job for you than that. Need the statue directly above you moved about an inch or so. Scaffolding's already set up, so you'll finish in about an hour or so. Thanks. Fernando, you lazy oaf, don't touch that statue. We don't need yet another insurance claim. Instead, go to the second floor of the barn and observe the corn's behavior in their habitat for several days. And don't move a muscle, that'll throw the data off. What? Hi, Fernando, don't worry about that observation stuff. The corn will take their own notes. Really need you to hang about a few dozen new paintings that just came in. Be a pal and set that up, would you please? Thanks. Fernando, you twit, don't lift a finger for those paintings. Instead, use this pen, draft a letter for me. Dear Bob, you are a nitwit and an idiot. You are a nitwit and an idiot. What did I say? I don't know what I said. Cordially, Ted. Cordially, Ted. All right, so they're both fighting over Fernando, who's apparently their only employee. So this is one called the One Second Assistant. A peculiar book on how to be an assistant in the workplace, whose end appears to be to do as little as possible. Chapters include how to shred everything, an intro into hiding in the office, and shifting blame to the intern. I don't think there are any interns here. I could be wrong. A master plan appears to be the only thing Fernando, the founder's assistant, put any effort into, aside from shredding important documents and wearing fancy fedoras and gloves. It's a very poor plan, involving jumper cables, a strange lightning rod, and somehow turning into an all-powerful god. Notes read that the stupid corn told me their secret, and Bob and Ted will be my assistants now. So he's gonna, he electrocuted himself. I think the corn are a little smarter than we thought. Wait. Hang on. Do these drawings look a little familiar? Maybe that big corn that I was talking about, maybe it's Ted, is actually Fernando. Maybe he transferred his consciousness into corn. Because he look, stupid, stupid. This looks like a corn stalk. And that's probably Bob? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this yet. We can, we can gradually piece it together though. Why is this medicine ball in the toilet? You could have taken a much lighter ball for this particular task, but that would require a grasp of logic that you don't really have. <laughs> All right, another fractured mirror so we can't see what we are. You know, someone in the comments brought up an important point. If we're corn, surely Vladdy would have commented on it when he first saw us. A coffee trolley, out of coffee. I don't really have any coffee to give, so we'll have to come back to this coffee trolley. In the meantime, we do have a medicine ball, which is very nice. I think also I never went this way, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna correct that now. Look at all these cans. How much, how much food and drink did Bob consume? This is ridiculous. I assume it was Bob. Look at all these dishes. No one, no one actually did anything. Locked kitchen door can be opened from kitchen. I don't know how to get into the kitchen. Look at all those bottles of wine. Holy crap. 
Um, there's nothing back here for me. So, let's see. We can't go back behind the counter. It's gotta be something we can get here. Bob, where's that idiot Fernando hiding? I told him to refill the coffee trolley with Ronka weeks ago. If you find him, put him to work. And do some yourself, buffoon. Okay, we got a plastic plant. So many useless things, idiot. No, these are not useless, idiot. This is so I can get into the next room. Duh. Are you are you are you blocking me? Oh, okay. I can just step over you. Forgot how short you were. You'd think this particular plastic plant was perfect, if not for the garish pot it was attached to. You have an unnatural hatred for clay pots of every size, shape, and color. You have an unnatural hatred for clay pots, you say. Could that be because we're corn? I'm sorry, I just... I keep going back and forth. I'm like, we're corn. And then I'm like, we're not corn. Okay, so I know that we're supposed to put the medicine ball and the plastic plant there, but we're... We, we can also put it down on the desk here, so like... Why? Trimmed plastic plant. It's much nicer now. Oh, I used the marker to draw the worst face in the world. It appears you took drawing lessons from a leather couch. Okay, gotcha. Somehow, your artistic skills have become worse in the short time between this effort and your Sketchbook 3000 drawing. You try to determine if the face you've drawn is happy, angry, or asking itself why it was brought into being to suffer such horrible torment, you eventually settle on smiling. You've also got the trim plastic plant. By freeing this plastic plant from its potted prison, you managed to trigger a dramatic series of events that led you to obtain a trimmed plastic plant. These events included reaching out to grab the trimmed plastic plant, Picking up the trimmed plastic plant with your right hand and wondering why you did all of this in the first place. I know exactly why I did it. This was a requirement to get into the next room, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and toss this on top of the water cooler. And Yep, this should this should do it. Yes! Okay. See Vladdy? Didn't pick up those useless plants for nothing. That does not sound good. Aha! I finally found you! You've fallen into my clutches, just like all the others. I must say, I'm quite disappointed. I thought you were more clever, more interesting. But no matter. Now, your suffering will be so incomprehensible that your small mind will Stupid break! Stupid plant, why is your face like that? But, what is that? Your stupid face is very bad. Dumb plant. Is that on purpose? <laughs> Shut up, you mean furry stupid! How dare you! I am the pinnacle of my race! You will pay for this insult. Let me just. What's up, boy? Or get some new chicks law! Jeez! If biting is cheating, I win by default. Ha 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 ha! Your plans have been foiled by my plan, which are better than yours, you dummy! <laughs> and I am most certainly not retreating. <laughs> yeah. You no, know, this place is filled with idiots. Yeah. No, I I know. So that happened. <laughs> it sure did. 